Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Dave Steadman and uh, I run a small Christian uh, charity called African Pastors Fellowship which works to build capacity among Christian leaders in Africa. Hi, I'm Cyrus Steadman, married to Dave Steadman um, and uh, I now work for a charity called The Rising Sun which deals with domestic violence. And this time tomorrow, um, I will quite possibly be talking to Jeff Holder, who many of you know, uh, on Google Hangouts. Um, and we'll be preparing for a large Zoom conference call that we've got at the end of uh, the week with many of our partners in Africa. Um, I started a new job in lockdown, which was a strange experience in itself. Um, my first day was at the kitchen table which uh, is uh, quite an unusual way to start a new job, but um, I only work Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So this time tomorrow, I could be doing one of a few things, walking the dog, having a coffee in the garden if the weather's nice, um, something around the house. Um, my experience of lockdown, uh, it's all a bit of a blur now, and I, I kind of feel like in many respects I'm coming out the other side, although uh, obviously, we still have lots of restrictions in place. Um, but Cy and I actually celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary last week. Um, and it kind of feels like we've spent more time together in the past year than we have in the previous 29. <laughs> yeah, and that, as you can imagine, has had its challenges at times. Both of us working from home um, uh, is a different scenario for us. So uh, I think... Uh, it, it's not been an easy time, um, not being able to see family and friends uh, and feeling fairly isolated at times um, has bears its toll. But uh, really now looking forward to be able to moving on a little bit and seeing people more regularly and catching up with family. And for myself, in terms of looking forward to uh, the end of lockdown, I guess it will be good to get back into a more normal uh, work routine and pattern. Um, be good to actually make some plans more than 24 hours or so in advance, uh, especially around visiting Africa again when it's safe to do so. I think Andrew also asked us to share some kind of word of encouragement with the church. And um, I, I, I've been really struck during lockdown by the story of the healing of the 10 lepers in Luke's Gospel because it contains um, social distancing. Um, the lepers have to stand at a distance from Jesus. They have to call out to him. He gives them some instructions and in following those instructions, they were healed. Um, but of the 10 lepers, only one came back to say thank you. So uh, I think one of the encouragements that, that I need to learn and that perhaps we all need to learn is that as we come through this, uh, we need to remember to be grateful uh, and to come back to God and say thank you to him. The lockdown has, and the pandemic has taught us that we're not in control of our environment to anything like the extent that we thought we were. Uh, I'm not convinced that humanity will have learned that much from this experience, although there's a lot of talk about the things we've learned. Maybe it's a bit too soon to say that, but I think the Bible teaches us that human beings have a capacity to forget very quickly. So... So, so maybe we need to try and encourage one another to be like the one who came back to say thank you uh, and not like the 10 or the, the other nine who didn't. So yes, I guess we will be talking about lockdown for many years to come. Um, but let's just remember that uh, and pray for those people who have really suffered in lockdown. I don't feel I'm one of those people, but there are people who have really, really suffered. So let's not forget them.